Hello and welcome to BoatingCruising.com and our how-to series. In this series we're going to talk about adding a 30 amp uh, shore power to your boat. There's a lot of good reasons to add a 30 amp system. First of all you can add some more modern conveniences. Heating and air conditioning, your blender so you make sure you have plenty of margaritas. Uh, plus I think that if you're getting ready to sell your boat, it may not add value to your boat, but it might. Uh, but it'll help you sell your boat easier. Now I'm working with Gratitude Yacht Center out of Rock Hall, Maryland to show you just how easy this process is. There's two parts to this. The shore power inlet, where you plug your boat into the shore power, and then inside your boat, the distribution panel, or the breaker box, to which you're going to hook up your outlets and other uh, modern conveniences. And now at the end of this video we're going to talk a little bit about what type of wire to use while you're setting this whole thing up. But for now, let's get started and let's get to work. Well the first thing is let's determine where we're going to mount it. Now it makes sense to put it close to the existing system. I looked behind and there was plenty of room. I wouldn't have a problem with drilling a hole or running the cable to the breaker box. I followed the existing cable along. That's where I planned to run the new cable. Got in the inside of the boat and looked like this was going to be a pretty easy run. Uh, as you can see here all the wires are easily accessible. So this shouldn't be too difficult to do. And here's where we're going to wind up. Now I went with Maranko they're like a household name in marine electronics as far as I'm concerned. I got an idea of all the things that I needed, but I checked their website just to make sure so when I went to my local store to pick up the uh, items I needed that I had a good list of everything. And their website's very easy to navigate. You just pick what you want to look for. Uh, that way when you go to the store you're not standing there all day looking around uh, trying to figure it out. You can get all the specifications right here on their website. And Marenko products are sold in most national um, marine stores and a lot of local stores. Uh, so now I, I got a good list of uh, what I needed. So I headed to my local store. And they had a wide selection of uh, Marenko products. And here I had a choice of outlets. Now, I already knew what I wanted because I'd checked the website and I wanted to go with the 50 foot cord, 30 amp. So I got picked that up, picked the outlet out, got all the supplies that I needed. So when I got ready to start the project, everything was ready to go. Double check the boxes, make sure I got the right one because there's a 50 amp system also. Got my 30 amp supplies and some accessories to go along with it which we'll talk about later in the program. Double check, make sure I had everything. I didn't want to have to stop and run back and forth. Then when I got back to the boat I made sure I had all my tools laid out. Just double checked I had everything. I probably had more than I needed but better to be safe than sorry. The important thing was the uh, wire snippers, uh, the uh, wire snake which I really didn't need and of course the hole saws to drill a hole to put the outlet in. Now here the outlet, uh, very standard, uh, it's got a um, protective cover or safety cover on the back right here and the cables it's really easy to set this up. You have a black cable, a white cable, and a green cable and these are all color coded right on the back here so after you strip the wire you just put the correct cable in. Now here I measured my hole saw. hole saw I had was just a little tight but it was going to work out. Now to make sure I had a nice pretty looking uh, setup, used my square, drew a couple of straight lines, took my template, squared that up, got a good center hole here to where I was going to drill my hole. Then, didn't take long where it's able to drill right through that. 
And it was nice that there was nothing behind there that I needed to worry about. Now I got a nice hole. I dry fitted it. Look at that. Beautiful. Easy to do. Next, I stripped the wire. Well, I had run the wire earlier. It was a very easy run. I didn't even need the wire snake. Now here, be careful that you don't nick the wires. And just pull back enough cable to be able to insert each individual uh, cable on the inside. I measured here to see how long I needed. It's about a half inch. Just strip the uh, protective coating off of each uh, wire. Now after I got the wire stripped, I pulled it through the hole. And make sure that you put your uh, water seal gasket on and your safety uh, casing before you hook up the inlet. I should have left a little more wire. I had a little bit of trouble here as you can see. But simple to do. Green to green. Black to black. White to white. Tighten these up nicely, not over tighten, and don't solder the ends of these either. A lot of people try to do that thinking they're doing something right. They're not. Then I attach the uh, safety casing. There's a screw in the center. Tighten that down. Get that nice and snug. Helps a uh, waterproof uh, or water resistant seal. And then the cable itself has got a little clamp here to help hold the cable in place in case something gets yanked around down in the compartment. You never know when that's going to happen. Put it all back in. Now pre-drill your holes here before you put the screws in. It's very difficult to drill through the uh, fiberglass uh, with the screw without a pilot hole first. So I got my pilot holes drilled. Put in the four screws. And voila, that's it. That's how simple it is to add the outlet. Now, as I mentioned, I picked up a couple other things. Here's the 50-foot cable I have. And I picked up the one that's got the safety light on it. lets you know that you have proper power to plug into the pedestal. Also, if you're cruising around, this Y adapter is really nice to have. Here, you can plug in both of your 30-amp cords and then that'll just plug into a single uh, 50 amp at the pedestal. The other thing I like is this little piece here in the middle for shore power when like here I'm on land this attaches I can plug in a regular extension cord and plug right into my uh, to the boat. Now on the shore power side of things I also picked up an adapter that as you see here it's got a built-in um, ground fault this is a really handy uh, device here when you're trying to do some work on the docks and you need to run a 110 cord. You don't want to run it from the boat or maybe you have the power shut off to the boat. This makes it easy to uh, do that work. Now let's talk about the right wire to use. Don't use a standard household wiring. You know, as Jack Hefner from uh, Gratitude Yacht Center pointed out, if you use that type of wire, you're not going to do well on a uh, boat inspection. Here you can see the household, it's a solid cable, the ground is not encased compared to the marine which is stranded and it's also tinned, but you see here the ground also has a protective casing on it. So the right wire makes a big difference and tinned wire lasts a lot longer than just standard uh, copper wiring. So from all of us at BoatingCruising.com Marenko and Gratitude Yacht Center. Happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.